Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here, and this is a tour of a G.I. Joe set that I just built today. It's a pretty plain set, very plain purpose, and uh, I'm going to explain it to you. Um, I'm going to Father Peace, Episode 2, Part 2, and 3. Actually, Part 2 already came out. Yeah. So, Part 3, Part 4, you know, there's a lot of uh, monitor shots. Where you see G.I. Joe is trying to defend the base as the base is under attack. And so this is just a hallway. Um, you know, ideally the floor wouldn't be red. But, you know, I work on a budget. And so I gotta make do with what I got. And this was a piece of countertop that we cut out at work. Uh, I work at a funeral home. We didn't need it, so it was gonna be thrown away. I thought, hey, I need to build more G.I. Joe sets. This Formica or whatever it is. Um... Could make a good floor. So yeah, is the floor red? Yeah, but yeah, I might paint it later. But it adds variety instead of the floor being always gray or whatever. Also, this had the same kind of wood as Bradburn Base, and so what I've done is I've taken some long pins like these and stuck them in through this poster board, which was just um dollar store white poster board you can even see the lines for better or for worse but hey they had some texture so yeah you know and i took some long pins Let's see see that little line there that's a metal pin that went through one side and the other i have a t tutorial on how to build joe sets like that but uh you know it's pretty big but for all intents and purposes, the set that we're filming is only this big. It's just a hallway. And so, um, hopefully it'll be filmed from some angle like this. And this guy will be talking on uh, this guy right here. Talking about how they've fortified the defenses. I'm going to have a casting call for this guy, which has either happened or is going to happen. Or an extra will play him. Um, things work pretty, pretty well. These Fetty, custom painted Fetties work pretty well, except when the paint scrapes, you know. This guy obviously has been used a bit. And the newer ones, I'm having some issues with the paint just scraping right off. So I'm going to start base coating them in gray so that when uh, the paint scrapes off, they're still gray, at least to a degree. Um, but it's just kind of one of those... It's the way it is, you know? You just deal with it. But, um, you know, this is a scene that you'll see on the monitor or possibly a full screen shot where this guy will be talking and they say that they fortified the uh, entrances into Bradburn Base's command center. And uh, I may build, make more than one shot of this, you know, like a, a separate shot of those doors with a totally different supply of blockades. And different soldiers, different heads. I have quite the head collection. I just swap them out. A lot of heads I'll use helmets on so no one recognizes them. For instance, that's a character that will exist someday. Um, but the head is. Um, he's not... The guy standing before you is not a character. He's just a random grunt. And thus the helmet to make him appear so. Um, you know, and you can see now we're down to engineers and soldiers inside Bradburn's command center. So things aren't going very well on the outside. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just a basic, simple set. Like I said, I might make film another version where stuff's a different arrangement, you know, to show different entrances. We'll see if it's even necessary. I'll probably take still pictures of those, you know, since this guy will be, you know, the main guy talking. I might focus on the monitors themselves and then show different doors blockaded, you know. I uh, haven't really figured it out. Some of the stuff I figure out as I go. And like this right here, I'm filming it ahead of time before I'm even to that point. Thus, I'll take pictures first. And uh, I might turn this, you know, background and stuff into another G.I. Joe set later. I do dislike the red floor, but I have a floor. And you're not really going to see much of the floor, you know what I mean? You'll see like that. So no one's really going to pay that much attention to the floor. I mean, it's like uh, that line from uh, uh, Shawshank Redemption. Just how often do you look at a man's feet? 
you know, <laughs> you just don't. So, yeah, it's easy with a little creativity to build decent, you know, stop motion animation sets. It doesn't have to be very costly. This was a buck. This was a buck. This I got for free. And, uh, you know, odds and end props that I find at yard sales or, you know, get from other Joe stuff or whatnot. Well, I hope this tour of the hallway has been edumacational or entertaining or whatever. Um, please support our stop motion animation series by checking out our Gundam's R Us eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area. And when you buy from us, it helps support these stop motions, which I'm still working on. Catch you guys later.